Cebu officials met with Health Secretary Francisco Duque III and others today in order to settle issues on COVID-19 protocols. For the latest on that, we have Dale Devera joining us live from Cebu. Hi, Dale. <laughs> what were the key takeaways from the meeting today? So on the Cebu LZU may need may have to do more to convince the IADF to finally allow them to uh, um, implement their own policy. This as the meeting between the provincial board and the IADF officials ended to what may be considered a lock, uh, a deadlock. Under Cebu's guidelines, a returning Filipino may leave a quarantine hotel once their swab result returns negative. A complete opposite of what the IATF implements, which is a mandatory 10-day quarantine. In a special session at the Cebu Provincial Capital, the IATF explained why the province should follow their guidelines. After all the talks, Cebu Governor Gwen Garcia presented a proposal that took IATF officials by surprise. Instead of implementing the EO-17 to all returning Filipinos, Garcia said it will only be implemented to Cebuanos. She explained how Cebu was able to control COVID-19 and maintained an MGCQ status for almost a year already. For one, as she said, Barangay Health Officers and Police Officers are deployed in different cities and municipalities. But the IATF have yet to discuss the province's proposal through Task Force Chairperson Carlo Nograles. So on the date of the IATF uh, consultation will, be later, will later be determined after the technical working group meet with their provincial counterparts. Sean? All right, thank you so much for that update and stay safe there in Cebu. That was News 5's Dale Devera.